Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tim and I am a retired educator living in Chattanooga. A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video that seemed to attract a lot of attention on using the 5S decluttering method on the closet behind me. And after that video went live, I had a number of comments with some really, really great ideas of how to improve what I'd done. And that's what this video is all about. So if you haven't seen the video on the 5S decluttering method, I will add that as a link at the end of this video. Basically, it is the method, it's a Japanese method from the workplace that the KonMari method is largely based on by Marie Kondo. And that is that you sort through the items and, and get rid of the things that you don't need or don't want. And then you set what's left in order, set in order. And then you shine or clean everything up and make sure it's all in great working order before you decide to just put it back in a drawer. And then the last two steps are the steps that we often miss. And that is the, the effort to standardize and then to sustain. And so in order to sustain what I have done is I have put on my Todoist app once a week going through and standardizing the closet, just making sure everything's back where it belongs. I haven't put anything out of place. Looking back through all the items, is there anything else I missed? Just those little touch-up ideas. And I knew when I finished that video, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't done. But honestly, I, I did not think about the kinds of things that you all had recommended. And so I wanted to just sort of walk you through some of the things that I have done. First of all, is somebody made mention of the fact that after they watched me <laughs> try to hang a pair of pants on one of those white plastic hangers and they fell on the floor, that I should get some velvet hangers. So I did. I got some velvet hangers specifically for pants. I'm still using the black plastic hangers for shirts, but the but the pla but the black velvet hangers work really, really well with pants. And so I have made that adjustment in the closet. Somebody else asked, why did you put the shirts back in the closet if you knew you were going to get rid of them? And, and, and you may remember, I, I talked about two or three shirts. I just didn't really like that much. And I was thinking in my head about the one in one out rule that we talked about in one of the videos prior. But really the one in one out rule is for things that you already like and have. So if you're going to buy something new, choose something you already have that you like, but maybe you like a little less. And when you bring one thing in, take one thing out. It doesn't really apply to things you know you're going to get rid of in the first place. And so I took those shirts and I have taken them out of the closet and they're on their way to Goodwill. The other thing that somebody commented was, why have you lined up all of those bins for your clothes on a rack? Why didn't you put them on what I've called the bookshelf? It's really not a bookshelf. It's a, it's a built-in, um, one of those closet-made built-in shelves. And I thought, well, I don't think that they fit there. And then I tried it, and lo and behold, they do fit there. So I took everything out, and I readjusted a shelf because somebody else had, had mentioned I should take the family photo that I had been saving, the old Olin Mills family photo, and put it inside one of those spaces in the um, closet-made book rack. And I tried that. I did get a uh, I did get a frame for that, just mainly so that it would stay in good shape. And I put it in there, and I didn't really like it that much. And so I I spread the shelves out just a little bit, and I put in a picture sort of a, a collage of pictures of my family that I really, really enjoy, but didn't have a space for anymore. And now when I look in the closet, I see it and it, and, and it's almost like it's framed artwork in a museum in some ways to me. And I really like that idea. So I also took the, the box that I'd stored all the pictures in and I put it up on the top shelf. And then I went out and I got some more of the black, plastic bins. And so I have my 
t-shirts and underwear on one shelf. I have my extra t-shirts with all the writing on it and uh, my shorts, no, my short pants in another underneath it. And then I've got one for the, for the merino wool shirts that I have. And then I also got some extras so that I could put my shoes in them. And that way they don't look out of place or cluttery. Uh, when I look through the door, I just see these nicely stacked bins. And then on one shelf, I just sort of split it up and I got four, four bins that were half the width and put those in there. And, and that's where I've just sort of stuck a few miscellaneous items. Two of them right now actually are still empty. And that opened up a whole shelf on the left-hand side with nothing on it anymore. And then others had talked about the things that were behind the door. And so I have, I just put out a video on um, transferring VHS tapes to digital. And I have, I've taken all the VHS tapes into the dining area where I have them set up. And I've been systematically going through those. And as a result, I had a lot of empty bins, a lot of empty plastic containers. So they're all sitting out. I've, I've talked to a couple of daughters who live locally who will be here at Thanksgiving. Do you want me to keep these for you for any reason? If not, they're going to Goodwill. At the time I'm videoing this, I don't have an answer to that question yet. And so as a result, I sort of rearranged things behind the door. Now, the one thing that, that was recommended and even my mom recommended it, uh, was to take the door off the hinges. I've not done that yet. Somebody else recommended that I put in a louver door since I have it open for air circulation because I live in a basement apartment and I have a couple of dehumidifiers down here. And I don't want my clothes in, a, in an enclosed space where they can't get air. <clears throat> so I haven't really, th I, haven't, I haven't decided about that yet. But as a result, of what you gave me, and as a result of having this planned on my calendar to go back through and standardize and sustain, standardize and sustain, I have a much better organized and a much more functional closet space thanks to you who commented. Now, you see what's in here now, and if you've got more comments to make or other suggestions to make, I am all ears, as you can tell. I won't be making a video every time I change my closet, but I just wanted to sort of interrupt the natural flow of my videos. I typically post on Tuesday and Thursday, and I'm going to post this one on Sunday because it doesn't really fall into the mix of everything else I'm doing. But I just wanted you to see not only is the process working, but you are helping that process work. And I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great week, and we will see you all next time.